Nothing's a toy. Not even the toy monkey. <laughs> Don't touch it. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest kids' toys of all time. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. <laughs> hey, Furby! I love you more than bunnies. You amazing Amanda. She talks and really understands you. Yeah, okay. It's not something that really you would think that would ever come out of a toy, but once I heard it, I was just it's kind of distraught. For this list, we're only looking at toys that were intended for children and were mass-produced and sold. We won't be including those made by artists or pranksters. Let us know in the comments which one has or will be giving you nightmares. Ages three and up. It's on my box. Ages three and up. Number 10. Furbies. What's that? Me up. It's my Furby. Over the years, Furbies have been rebooted and relaunched many times, making them a staple childhood toy for decades. But no amount of redesigns will ever make them less creepy. They will stare into your soul with those large, dead eyes, and thanks to their language learning capabilities, they only get scarier over time. New Furby! Nice! You never know what's gonna happen! You just gotta say... Hey, Furby! Okay, so they don't actually learn to speak, but that doesn't stop them from being so unsettling. Even worse, because the Furby craze took the world by storm, few households are without a decrepit Furby hiding in a box somewhere. And the practice of collecting and modifying Furbies has also taken off, with Furby fans actively making them even worse than they were already. We love you. Furby, eat so separately. Number 9. Hugo, Man of a Thousand Faces If you've ever wondered why Mr. Potato Head is a vegetable rather than an uncannily realistic adult man, this is probably why. In 1975, Kenner released Hugo, the Man of a Thousand Faces, a strange, bald puppet that came with a variety of disguises. It seemed to be a boy's equivalent to the dolls marketed to girls, which have always been highly customizable, but it severely missed the mark. Hugo is a frightening companion straight out of an R.L. Stein story, and his accessories include weird hair pieces, fake glasses, a disturbing mask, and several plastic wounds and injuries. Hugo is a great toy for kids who thought that regular puppets just weren't awful enough. Number 8. Cupid Dolls What do we have here? Yeah, this is my badass Cupid doll collection. Gotta be the first man ever in the history of the world to say that. Absolutely. Yeah. These dolls originally went on sale over a hundred years ago, and have aged more poorly than other old toys, and that's saying something. Based on baby-faced cherubs, which can be unsettling in their own right, Cupid dolls most often resemble nude babies in strange poses with weird facial expressions. Many different lines of Cupid dolls have been released as their popularity waxes and wanes, but they always keep that trademark Cupid creepiness. On the bright side, many of them are now valuable collectibles. So at least something good could come of keeping one in your house for years. I can't imagine someone's probably going to want to take all of them in one shot, but uh, there are some valuable ones. Um, yeah, I could do a thousand. That'd be fine. All right, cool, man. Cool. Thanks. Meet me over there and we'll write you up, right? Great. Number seven, Irwin the Little Patient. This toy is designed to teach young children about anatomy. But even with such noble intentions, the end result leaves much to be desired. Irwin looks like a standard kid's plushie at first glance, but if you take off his medical gown, you can unzip his torso and pull out all of his internal organs. While an invaluable tool in classrooms, there's something undeniably disturbing about Irwin's placid facial expression and wide-open eyes while you shuffle his innards around. The gruesome contents of Irwin's belly include the kidneys and bladder, lungs and heart, and the entire digestive system in one long, soft tube. Number 6. Amazing Amanda I love you more than bunnies. These days, Alexa, Siri, and Google Home have taken over the tech market, helping people to organize their lives and stay on top of things. But what if you could have all that inside a plastic doll rather than a sleek cylinder? Amazing Amanda is just that. Launched back in 2005 before the craze of smart speakers, Amanda was certainly ahead of her time. Silly mommy, cooking after breakfast. It's amazing, she really knows. She can tell different objects apart, can speak to you, and more bizarrely, can identify her own fake poops. She even reminds you of what you're supposed to be doing. Who doesn't want a doll that knows where they are at all times? New Extra Amazing Amanda. She understands more than you know. Adult setup required. Therapy not included. Number 5. Little Miss No Name Seemingly Barbie's evil cousin, Little Miss No Name was a doll marketed as being a homeless girl, and it was down to you, yes you, to take responsibility and find her a new home. 
Unfortunately, even if you gave her the best home in the world, it wouldn't change her permanently distressed expression. She even came with a lonely teardrop on her cheek. Though she is endearing in her own strange way, the macabre marketing meant that Little Miss No Name never really took off. Though she does make for an interesting collectible now. Maybe guilting people about neglecting a small child isn't the best way to sell toys? Number 4. Early Mr. Potato Head Hugo was bad, but the earliest Mr. Potato Head sets had not perfected the disguise formula either. Mr. Potato Head, I made you. I made you. You know it's true. Mr. Potato Head, I made you. Rather than coming with a plastic potato for you to customize to your heart's content, they came with only the accessories, leaving it up to you to decide which fruit or vegetable you wanted to impale with googly eyes and giant ears. He may be a friendly childhood icon now thanks to Toy Story, but in the beginning, these playsets were a great way to ruin a perfectly good meal. This toy will leave you never wanting to eat a potato again. Mr. Potato Fish! Mr. Potato Head and his pals! <laughs> Number 3. Elmo Knows Your Name M From spelling A -M -Y. To shapes Circle To a little help with manners is that a selling point or a threat? Elmo might be one of Sesame Street's most popular and beloved characters, though that is a high bar. But that hasn't stopped toy manufacturers from doing everything in their power to make you hate him. This infamous toy was a mechanical version of Elmo that spoke to you, and yes, learned your name. The plush Elmo would then repeat your name back to you, sometimes completely unprompted and perhaps even in the dead of night. There was even one notorious case of Elmo reportedly saying he was going to kill the boy he belonged to, which upset the boy's mother when she heard her son repeating it. Yeah, King? It's not something that really you would think that would ever come out of a toy, but once I heard it, I was just it's kind of distraught. Number 2. Jolly Chimp Now a horror movie cliché that's been around for decades, it's difficult to imagine a time when this threatening primate was ever a legitimate toy someone would give to a child. Nothing's a toy. Not even the toy monkey. Don't touch it. But every villain has an origin story. When the symbol banging monkey toy is activated, it looks as though it's been possessed with a manic grin and perpetually bloodshot eyes. <laughs> Nowadays, seeing this mechanical chimp clap its percussive instruments together is a definite bad omen, warning that doom and angry poltergeists might be on the way. It's not clear exactly why watching the chimp scream and bang cymbals together would be a good pastime for a kid. Excuse me. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some creepy honorable mentions. Face Bank. You'll never want your money back after this piggy bank has eaten it. The Bones Family. What could be more fun than a skeleton with a child's head? Holy cow. Ooh, what's this? There is the most awesome toy I've ever seen in my life. Want more Mojo? Ms. Mojo produces original, high-quality, pop culture-related videos on all your favorite movies and shows. Plus, celebrity news, fashion, lifestyle, and more. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Ms. Mojo. My name is Sam. My name is Eliza. And I'm Emily. I'm Rebecca, and welcome to Ms. Mojo. If you want videos on all the best reality shows, teen dramas, Disney movies, and sitcoms, be sure to check out Ms. Mojo for new videos every day. Number 1. Baby Laugh-A-Lot If you've always dreamed of combining what appears to be haunted dolls and haunted rocking chairs, then look no further than Baby Laugh-A-Lot, Remco's doll from the early 70s. Baby Laugh-A-Lot will violently cackle and rock back and forth with a permanent smile on her face. Just push the button and she starts to giggle! <laughs> Get baby laugh a lot. The original commercial doesn't try to make it any less scary either, showing everybody in its presence infected by laughter. And it's easy to imagine it becoming a ghastly monster after dark. Hello, John. Over here. Hi. It's me, Chucky. What do you think? Remco quickly went out of business after the launch of the toy. Was it simply a misfire, or did Baby Laugh-A-Lot send the company to an early grave? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.